So you're 40 or older and have finally reached the point where you're ready to give up your gym membership for good and make the jump to home gym training. You've gotten to that tipping point where you just can't handle the time commitment of driving to a spot where you have to wait an eternity for some of your favorite pieces of equipment to open up and definitely can't stomach the thought of just one more workout in the sea of infinite douchebaggery that seems to embody most big gyms these days. I totally get it. And that's coming from someone that used to own and operate a big gym. Anyway, congratulations on this momentous decision. You've taken the first step to reclaim your fitness independence and your overall sanity. So you've made the big decision to train from home, but now you've got some pretty tough decisions to make. You know you want to stick with the minimalist approach to workouts and the equipment that they're composed of and now have to make the tough decision on whether to stock up with dumbbells or kettlebells as your choice of free weights. So in today's video, I'm going to share my thoughts on the arguments for each and help you make a more informed decision for yourself. Now, to do that, let's first look at the most obvious differences between the two and how that affects things. If you look at the shape of each, you'll notice very clearly that the dumbbell has a more balanced and symmetrical look to it compared to the more imbalanced and offset nature of the kettlebell. The dumbbell's handle is squarely in the middle of the weight, making the center of mass easier to work with and almost passively stabilized during lifts, whereas the kettlebell's handle is not in the center, which means the center of mass is off kilter and requires you to more actively stabilize your spine during movements, making for more demanding core activation work right off the bat, especially with exercises that are held in the rack position. When both are used in a single weight, offset, contralateral manner, both will force more increased core work, but given the imbalanced makeup that the kettlebell has in comparison to the dumbbell, I'd argue that this is a notch in the kettlebell's belt, seeing as it allows for you to get more work done if doing the same movement with each implement. Next, let's talk about the number of different exercises you can do with each. This is where things get more interesting because for the most part, outside of a traditional double hand swing, whatever movement you can do with a kettlebell, for the most part, you can do with a dumbbell and vice versa. But here's where I think kettlebells have the slight edge over dumbbells if your aim is to maximize variety of different exercises in your training arsenal. The kettlebell allows for a more comfortable and controllable rack position when doing offset or pairs work, whereas the dumbbells simply don't. So essentially, there are way more exercises that you can do with kettlebells that you can't do with dumbbells versus the other way around. I mean, honestly, bicep curls might be the only exception to that rule, but if you just feed a rolled up towel through the handle of a kettlebell, and use the ends of the towel as handles instead of the horn of the kettlebell, not only do you have a fantastic curl variation that just hits a little different than you're accustomed to with dumbbells or barbells, but you've also got a far better grip and form exercise as well. So as you can see, kettlebells obviously give you way more bang for your buck by giving you far more variety of exercises to implement when fleshing out your overall exercise library. Now, all that said, there are a few drawbacks when it comes to kettlebells. First off, the learning curve to execute many of the fundamental kettlebell movements properly and without pain is a little bit higher than when you're dealing with dumbbells. But to be honest, that shouldn't really be a determining factor in your decision making in my mind. Because outside of just getting comfortable with the kettlebell's contact on top of your form, which a lot of people bitch about in the beginning, which with proper form is also instantly solved, almost all the form cues for kettlebells are the same ones that you're gonna use for dumbbells. You'll always wanna keep your core tight, your shoulders packed, 
and your joints stacked. The one thing I'd argue for dumbbells over kettlebells though is price and availability, especially if you're looking to get them second hand. The fact is dumbbells are historically more readily available meaning they're typically far cheaper. Whereas for the most part, it's pretty tough to find used kettlebells for sale because when people buy kettlebells, they typically end up keeping them for good. The bottom line is this, in my mind, it's worth the extra money you may have to pay for kettlebells because of the increased value they have regarding the greater number of exercises and cumulative workload you can achieve with them over dumbbells. It's like choosing a Swiss Army knife over just a regular cheap ass folding knife. That said, you really can't go wrong with either. And I'd argue that you should really try and grab both if possible. So there's really no wrong decision here unless your decision is to say to hell with exercise, I just don't have time for it. Remember this, especially if you have kids, you owe it to your loved ones to sacrifice momentary comfort for long-term health. Make the choice to set a good example and to stick around for a while, all right? Trust me, you'll never regret that if you do. Hey guys, thanks for checking out today's video. If you enjoyed it and wanna learn more about kettlebells, dumbbells, or any other training implement that you can utilize from home to help bypass the stress of having to train at a commercial gym, then please, Leave that question down in the comment section below and I will be happy to put together a quick, simple, and actionable video for you moving forward. And before you take off, if you are interested in learning more specifically about my style of kettlebell fat loss and strength training, then do your part to help improve your overall health by grabbing your free copy of the kettlebell cardio blueprint that I've put together for you by clicking on either the image that you see right over there or on the pin link you see at the very top of the comment section down below. Inside, you'll get a free week's worth of my kettlebell cardio training routines as well as my plug and chug workout builder and top 10 tips for reducing body fat while increasing strength. So to get for free, just click over there or down there and I'll hook you up for free right now. Appreciate your time guys, have a good one. Mandler, out.